Warning, spoilers ahead. Hey there, movie lovers. Today we're going to dive into the world of Pandora and explore the thrilling events of the epic sequel, Avatar, The Way of Water. So if you haven't watched the movie yet, you might want to pause this video and go check it out first. But if you're ready to relive the intense, controversial, and sometimes downright hilarious moments of this fantastic film, buckle up. And if you enjoy this narration, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Avatar The Way of Water picks up 16 years after the Navi repelled the RDA invasion of Pandora. Our hero, Jake Sully, played by Sam Worthington, now lives as the chief of the Omadakaya clan alongside his family, including his wife Neytiri, Zoe Saldana, and their children. But as the saying goes, there's no rest for the weary, as the RDA, led by their new leader Francis Ardmore, returns to colonize Pandora once again. Earth is dying and the stakes have never been higher. In a bizarre twist of events, the RDA has created recombinants, Navi avatars implanted with the memories of deceased human soldiers. And guess who's back? That's right. Colonel Miles Quaritch, Stephen Lang, the original film's big baddie, returns in a recombinant form. Talk about not knowing when to quit. As the battle between the Navi and the RDA intensifies, Quaritch captures Jake's children during a counterinsurgency mission. Thankfully, our favorite blue-skinned couple, Jake and Natiri, manage to save them, but not without some intense action sequences that'll have you on the edge of your seat. And Quaritch's newfound connection with his Pandora-born human son, Spider, adds another layer of complexity to the already tangled web of relationships in this movie. Forced to leave their home, Jake and his family seek refuge with the aquatic Metkayina clan on Pandora's eastern seaboard. Here we're introduced to new characters like the Reef People and the Tulkun, an intelligent and pacifistic whale-like species. But if you thought life under the sea would be smooth sailing for our heroes, think again. Quaritch is still hot on their trail, and he's determined to make their lives as difficult as possible. As the story unfolds, we see the relationships between the characters develop and evolve. We get to know Jake and Neytiri's children, particularly Loak, who befriends Tsirea, the daughter of Metkayina chief Tonawari and his wife Ronal. There's also Kiri, the Navi avatar of the late Dr. Grace Augustine, Sigourney Weaver, who shares a unique connection with the mysterious spirit tree. But it's not all doom and gloom in this sequel, folks. There are plenty of funny and interesting moments to keep you entertained throughout the film. For instance, watching Quaritch try to bond with his son Spider is both hilarious and awkward. Spider's attempts to teach Quaritch about Navi culture and language are particularly amusing. You can't help but chuckle at Quaritch's initial struggles with the Navi language. Who knew tough guys could have such a hard time with grammar? The movie also features some breathtaking underwater scenes, showcasing the wonders of Pandora's oceans. It's no surprise that director James Cameron took his time to perfect the visual effects for this underwater world. The vibrant colors, exotic creatures, and mesmerizing bioluminescent effects will leave you in awe. And the 3D technology? It's like nothing you've ever experienced before. You'll feel like you're swimming right alongside the characters as they navigate the depths of Pandora's oceans. As Avatar The Way of Water Show hurdles towards its climax, Jake and the Navi are pushed to their limits. In a desperate attempt to stop the RDA, they form an alliance with the Tulkan and the Metkayina clan. The final battle takes place in a jaw-dropping underwater setting, with the Navi and their aquatic allies facing off against the relentless RDA forces. The epic conclusion leaves audiences both breathless and emotional. It's a testament to the power of unity and the indomitable spirit of the Navi people. The film not only delivers pulse-pounding action but also explores themes of family, loyalty, and the importance of protecting our natural world. In the end, Avatar The Way of Water proves to be a worthy successor to its groundbreaking predecessor. The movie expands on the world of Pandora in remarkable ways and introduces us to new characters that we can't help but fall in love with. If you're an Avatar fan, this sequel is a must-watch. And even if you're new to the series, it's worth diving into this visually stunning adventure. And that's it for our narration of Avatar The Way of Water. What did you think of the movie? Do you agree with our take? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more movie narrations and reviews. Until next time, fellow movie lovers, happy watching.